Oh. Hello. Ooh. Oh wow. There's quite a few Care Bears here. Ooh. Oh. Nice vintage ones too. I don't think I have Sleepy Bear yet. Ooh, I wonder how she is. Oh, she's like a more professional one too. Oh, that's awesome. It smells nice in here. Ooh. There's some Ted Head Kids, there's some Barbies. Oh, it's a bunch of Barbie, Barbie cars and stuff. Oh, neat. Neat, 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 neat. Ooh, some brats in. Oh, nice. Oh, LOLs. I'm actually tempted on those, especially uh, Punk Girl. Oh, it was a bunch of VHS. Oh, nice, nice. <gasps> yes, this Bubbles is mine. <laughs> oh, I don't have any with the sparkle dress yet. Oh, wow. So many pretty dolls. Some bigger dolls down here. Ooh. Some very nice stuff here. Oh, Davy Blush. Oh, it's a hip puppet. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, hey, a woody hat. Nice. There's another woody hat. Oh, I love that wood bear, too. He's so cute. There's some clothes. There's some other Barbies and stuff in here. I may want this Mitch, just because she seems unique, but I don't know. So there's standard Barbies there. And with that out of the way, we can finally show off the rest of our haul. So, <laughs> um, we're going to begin with Cameron here. Uh, so, when I went to Nostalgia, I did get some footage, but then my phone ended up running out of room. By the time I, you know, got really into it. So, uh, it's not the best, but I'll try to film a bit better next time, so... Anywho, so they had a few Bratz dolls for $25 a piece, and that was a bit expensive for this Cameron, but I literally only bought them for his shirt, which is actually, <laughs> this is actually uh, hanging out Noli's shirt, so to find something my scene there too was pretty neat. And the sneakers, I'm not sure who they belong to, but it's definitely not Cameron, and I believe this is first edition, uh, and I believe these are his original pants as well. Actually, I'm looking over to my side, and they are not. I think these are actually Dylan's. Either Dylan's or second edition Cameron's, which means this might be second edition Cameron. Possibly. I don't know. But anyway, I mostly bought it for the shirt, so it was a little expensive for what it was, but I was like, screw it. Why not? <laughs> so, anywho. So, we have Cameron there. And then we have this uh, Snap Stars uh, doll. And again, I still don't know their names yet, but... Um, here you can get a nicer look at who they are. So they do have the full articulation here, and the wrists, the elbows, the knees, uh, the ankles, and the waist, or at least, you know, like by the hips. And the waist, uh, yeah, I have a bit of waist articulation, not nearly as good as Liv's, uh, but you know, they have something, so. This is, Liv did not have uh, chest articulation, uh, so, but because of their size, this makes up for that, because uh, lids are obviously bigger, but their head, the head sculpt is about, if not exactly Liv's size, so I'm not sure how they managed to get that from Spin Master, but I believe this is her original wig, and I think it is supposed to be this short, uh, and you can just, like I said, you can just 
pop it off unless, yeah, so you can pop it off. So there's that there. I'm not sure if they glued it on. Yeah, they probably glued it on, so, but that's, that's fine. I kind of preferred her like this anyway, but yeah, I believe this is her original outfit. So that's pretty neat, but yeah, so there's a Snap Stars doll. And then next, I got this, uh, this Ken, and this is actually, I initially thought this was uh, Julian from uh, Princess and the Popper. Uh, but I didn't notice the <laughs> talking button on the back. And yeah, he was 10 bucks. And I mean, it's still a nice find. Uh, I forget who he is. I know he's from uh, uh, Rapunzel, I believe. Yeah, I think he's the prince from Rapunzel. So he's still a cute doll. Now I need to change his batteries and see what he says later on. But anywho, but yeah, figured I'd share that find. Let's see. And then next... We have, uh, oh yes, I just have to pull it out first. And next, we have this, which is a new inbox, as we lift this up, a new inbox Hannah Montana singing doll, uh, who sings the other side of me. And actually I have two of this doll loose, at least near complete, near to fully complete. Uh, one is near complete, and it's missing the poster, the bracelet, and I believe a microphone. But I did get a couple in recently, so technically that one's complete aside from those. But another one I bought brand new in box as well, but the box pretty much destroyed. It was all crushed and ruined and whatever. So, and this one has a very, very tiny dent up in here. And I wish I could get one with no dents, but that's like near impossible with these kinds of packages. So... I'm going to take what I can get. <laughs> and for 15 bucks before tax, I was not complaining. I'm like, yep, this is mine. <laughs> I was expecting them to, to ask like 30, but nope. <laughs> so I was cool with 15. So yeah, finally glad to add one of those to the collection. And then uh, we have two very special finds here. Uh, so one of them, <laughs> one of them is this vintage Barbie. Uh, I'm not sure which number she is, but she's definitely later. Uh, assuming this is an actual original, which I'm pretty sure she is. This dress is obviously not of her era. Uh, but it's cute. It's very cute. Unless I don't think it's of her era. But it's very cute. And I believe this is, is an original A because her face is a bit more orange than expected. And doll nudity coming up for those who are bothered by it. Uh, so here's her body, and on her backside, it says, if I can get it to focus, 1958, Mattel, uh, patent pending, all that stuff. So, and we paid $25 for her, which is not that bad. And I was like, you know what? I've always wanted an original Barbie for a while, so here we are. I did own a few older Barbies. Uh, I had an older Midge, I had a few... Uh, mod era barbies but i never had one of this face of an original so uh i own a couple of reproductions but again as an original this is my very first one and she is very beautiful and i'm glad to finally own one uh i mean not my favorite era but it's still a nice one to collect and if i get one every once in a while i don't mind um so there she is and then to end off this haul i found something i didn't think i was ever gonna find <laughs> And that's, of course, uh, well, first of all, you may know who this lovely lady is right here. Yes, that's right. We have a Rockers Barbie. And what's that on her shoulder? Oh, that must be a hint of what is found. That's right. Uh, to, true to this name of the channel, we have found, of course, Rockers Barbie wearing Jem's outfit. Well, most of Jerrica's outfit, minus the cap, but because this is reversible to make it Jerrica's, but this was an amazing find. I, I said, I love Gem. Gem is like my favorite doll line of all time to collect, and anything I see of Gem, or almost anything, uh, I pick it up instantly. <laughs> and I, when I saw this, I knew I had to get it. 
I have a few rocker Barbies, but they're all in imperfect condition. Like, they, none of them have a decent set of earrings, which sucks, but whatever. Um, but yeah, I mostly bought it because, like, the fringe here is almost always very dirty or ruined. And this is actually very clean. The, the sticker is in great shape. And the suit itself is in pretty good, clean condition for its age. So, I forget how much she was, but... Whatever it was, I'm glad I got her anyway, because she is beautiful. And to have more gem pieces to my dolls is wonderful. I can always find... If I find pieces for a decent price, I try my best to get them when I can. So, yeah. But, of course, for those who know the history, this is a bit of heathenry. <laughs> because Mattel, from what I heard... Because I was born in 95, so I don't know. This was, like, way after my... Way before my time, excuse me. Mattel heard word of Hasbro's uh, attempt to release Gem, so they quickly went to make Barbie and the Rockers to get out before Gem to make Gem look like a copycat, which is very gross and very sad to hear about such news. But honestly, like, the past is the past. Some people actually like both, and I do like both uh, in their own way, but I, pre I prefer Gem over Barbie and the Rockers, like... I don't know, there's just, something about it is just so much better. I mean, yeah, Barbie is more plausible because she can do anything, basically, but Jem is just, Jem has a rocking cartoon and amazing music, so, <laughs> you know, sorry, Barbie, I love you, girl, but Jem is just better. <laughs> Anywho, but yeah, that was the haul. And I hope you guys all enjoyed. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more awesome content. And yeah, uh, until next time, stay outrageous. Bye-bye. <laughs>